Uh, we're here today with some long-tailed ducks, uh, just getting ready to release them post-surgery. We're here uh, with a collaborative project with Long Point Waterfowl Canadian Wildlife Service. Uh, we also have Drs. Glenn Olson from the USGX Pat Patuxent Wildlife Research Centre and Dr. Graham Crashaw from the Toronto Zoo. Uh, Ross Wood from LPBO, uh, that's Long Point Bird Observatory, is also here. Uh, this collaborative project is looking at uh, long-tailed ducks and uh, trying to determine population delineation uh, where these birds might be migrating to in the spring and fall, breeding, uh, potential molting areas as well as wintering areas. Uh, another side project that's coming from this is uh, Philip Wilson's project. Phil's here holding the drake and uh, he's going to be uh, attempting to look at local movements on Lake Ontario uh, to look at potential impacts of uh, future developments of offshore wind turbines and how they affect these birds. So we've been trapping these birds here uh, in the Hamilton Harbour area of Lake Ontario. Uh, they went through a surgery process uh, to get uh, satellite transmitters uh, implanted. The transmitters will turn on for four hours every three days and that cycle will allow us to get a better feeling of where these birds are and how they react to uh, different uh, weather environments as, as well as where they're going to breed and, and molt and, and things like that. So we're just in the process of letting some go, uh, but wanted to give you guys a, a kind of in-depth view of what goes on here uh, at Long Point Waterfowl as well as Canadian Wildlife Service and a few of the other partners that we have going.